for this week's stiff one, Kevin, we're going to go to a friend of yours, um, Joey Diaz, who I guess back in the day was a guest on Alex Jones's radio show before the charges. And I guess this was terrestrial radio and you're not supposed to use bad language, which I don't think Joey's capable of curtailing himself uh, in doing. But um, this, is an ama- <laughs> this is an amazing discussion between, and I think, uh, what's his name uh, seated beside him here? Uh, Rogan was making a guest spot here too with Joey. And uh, Joey can't help but but be Joey. On, and, and it's great to watch Alex Jones try to try to get control of the situation with the language. Go ahead. Let's watch a little Joey Diaz. I can never get enough Joey Diaz. So I had it in the back and I put it under my left nut. No. This is him smuggling. Yes, we are. Yes, the freedom of speech. I'll call Obama right now. This is real corruption. I'm, I got freedom of speech. This is out of control. No, this is not. You out of order. Little X is out of order. This whole fucking joint's out of order. He is worse. He, hold on. He is worse than Eddie Bravo. Than That's right. Bravo. Much worse than don't bring. I, I love him, but don't bring this monster in here. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a crazy you Fred Flintstone. You so your viewers know. No. If people don't want I don't want. Okay. We're looking for the truth on this show. This is about the truth. I, I got one. I got there. And I had baggy clothes on, and I had a belt on. They said because you have baggy clothes on, they didn't know I lost 100 pounds. They said we're gonna put you through the X-ray machine. I'm standing there sweating bullets with this baggy under my fucking. Oh, that's enough! Stop. Left nut's bigger than the right nut because I'm a righty. Stop. People don't know that. I thought I had cancer for a couple weeks. You know, the opposite hand is like Satan. Listen to me. So I'm standing (laughs) with my legs open, with this weed stinking. You're like Rodney Danger. Listen, stop, Rodney. Fucking Rodney. I had this weed. That was sticking up a storm, not to mention my balls. I'm sweating now. Because I'm going to go to jail because I, I lost the guy goes, he's clear. And he shook my hand. And I'm like, my taxpayers are hard at work. No, I know. I know. I'm jealous. Go fuck yourself, you cop. Hold on, hold on one second. Take a jump. Take a shuttle. <laughs> Joey Diaz, Facebook, Twitter. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Big dicks in your ass. Oh, okay, that's enough. I'm just saying. You're a dog. What did you do? What's my name? I'm the young pal. Fire. This is. Stay black, stay black, because that's the most important thing. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> hey, Joe. The show's over. Why are we even talking? Check yourself before you... He tells, he tells Alex Jones... He tells Alex Jones, stay black. Was he was he a, a cyclone on the set, or was he just chill? Oh, he was chill. Joey was cool. Yeah. It was chill, man. It was he? Was he? In, what kind of shape was he in back then? He's very big. Oh, okay, he was gigantic. Oh, he was. Okay. Oh yeah. I don't know if this was in. A, I didn't know if the film was done in a, in a svelte. I haven't seen it in a svelte period for him. No, he, he, it was it, it was hot in Santa Fe. Oh, okay, you were telling we were talking to over dinner about for anyone, even with a, a minute amount of knowledge of how production works. Imagine shooting a football game as part of a film. Mm. The angles you need you need a uh, you need an audience, right? You need a stadium full of people. So, and they're not going to fill, of course, the entire stadium. They're just wherever the camera is, right? They're going to have the audience behind, kind of like what AEW does today. But imagine having to now you're doing a turnaround. The other team scores, or you you're filming behind the defense instead of. Uh, from the offense's perspective, don't you have to move that section of audience Everything. to the other side of the stadium? Yes. It's insane. And all the gear. Right. Like of you, course. All the, yeah. all the, like all the, the dollies and all the, yeah, everything. Sure. It, it was the, the process was, I mean, they, 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 they were very, they had um, for that longest yard, they, they brought NFL films to use a lot of the 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 the, ca- the wire cameras and a lot of the things that they covered they covered with with what they did do in the NFL which allowed them to shoot because there was there was not really drone yeah you know, there was no drone camera work at that time so they were using NFL films cameras to shoot the action yeah so that, cuz they're way, experienced they're, in covering the game yeah, get the and right they, angles, and they and they had they had uh, as technical advisors NFL film guys. Excellent. So, but my God, how long did just 
the the field stuff take? I'm not talking I, about like I, the discussion on the sidelines, like, like on the like, field. I, I swear it was like 60 days of filming just the game. One location, uh, the same stadium yeah. used, yeah. Concordia Junior College or Community College. It was uh, it was like Manhattan Beach, uh, Compton, right at that, like right in that area. And what what temperature are we talking about? Oh, this is this was in L.A. We shot the we shot the prison shit and all the like the the guards getting ready and the and. You know, before the big game, we shot all that in Santa Fe. It was like fucking ninety. But what then, about for for when you're you're padded up? That was the it was it was it was probably like you know we're right there we we were close to the ocean, but I was I mean I'm pretty pretty sure it was the high eighties. What percentage of the game has to be by stuntmen? Well, all, all all of our doubles were, um, like football players, like you know that, that played football. So like the, they were basically stunt guys. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, but like Goldberg did all of his own tackling. Oh, Romanowski did all of his own tackling. You know, me and like, Austin were like, your... <laughs> <laughs> I remember I, fucking the, the guy was, they had Steve running through this like thing with a ball, you know, and he ran through like three or four fucking times. And it was like, like a machine type thing where, you know, he had to run through it and a bunch of things banged off of him. <laughs> we got done with that. We're sitting over there together and we looked at each other and I said, Steve, these motherfuckers know how fucked up we are. Like, and they didn't. Like I, I went, I went the first day they had, they had uh, two days. So I went that morning and they fucking had us in pads and hitting fucking sleds and doing all this shit. And then they came back and we had lunch and I came back and they were fucking, they said, and I, Went and sat in the bleachers. The guy came over and fucking cut a promo on me. You know, like, well, what the fuck? I said, "Hey, man, I'm an actor. I ain't a fucking football player." I said, I'm "So here. wait, it wasn't for a scene? They, they, what did they? they, they were like, it was like Band of Brothers. Like we were gonna fucking, you know, we we're gonna have two days for, for for a week and learn the plays and for you know, solidify ourselves as a team. Fuck you. I'll be in my trailer. I'm surprised that." past sags muster i mean what do you what do you have to do if you're in it's like it's like anything else in life you know everybody will always try to fucking get a little bit extra right yeah so you got to be got to be aware of it i just gotta say no